Okay, so I'm over here by the Jacob Javits Center. It's very, very uh, exciting. I'm excited to see what's going on. I have my camera. So I'm gonna shoot, see what I can see. Um, very excited to go in. Okay, we're, I think we're in the Javits Center. I'm not sure, but there's a bunch of security here, like the airport, like TSA. It's kind of like that type of security. Just went in through security and there's a bunch of uh, big guys here that looks like they're like security or something. But anyway, we're, now I'm on my way to the Javits Center. I want her to win, but it's so close. Not even close, she's losing right now. It's scary. So I'm here at the Javits Center, we made it in and there's a ton of people inside. The first home I remember, our closest... This is looking like a Trump County by double digits tonight. So that is a shift in favor of the Democrat, of, excuse me, in favor of the Republicans. Here's another one we might be looking at. We talk about these characteristics of Michigan. Saginaw was Obama country four years ago. Trump leading there right now. So we're seeing the map change a little bit in Michigan. Steve Karnacki looking tight at Michigan right now, as, as everybody is right now. Uh, there's a lot of states that are still outstanding, but we're starting to key in on which of the ones are essentially forks in the road for these little these little paths that either of the candidates might have. At this point, each of the candidates has a path. Well, let's take a look at the map right now. Donald Trump is in the lead. Those are the two campaign headquarters here in New York. It is right now, Javits Center for the Clinton campaign, New York Hilton for the Trump campaign. But let's put up that board right now. See where things stand. 190 electoral votes for Clinton. 172 votes. to get to the 270 he needs. John Carl, you've been following it all night long. Let's start with that state of Florida. It looks like he's running the table in these remaining states. Florida, 95% of the vote is in. Donald Trump has a lead of well over 100,000 votes. There's just not enough votes out there, I believe, for Hillary Clinton to, to, to recapture the lead, but still haven't called it. But that is looking, trending very solidly for Donald Trump. Move up north to North Carolina, another state that was you know, toss up right at the end. He's got a five point lead with 92% of the vote in. Go up a little bit further. He's trailing in the state of Pennsylvania with about 70% in. But look how close Pennsylvania is. This is a state that hasn't gone Republican since 1988. Keep going up north, New Hampshire, 59%. A state where Trump has been the underdog for months, George. And he is 49% to 46 for Hillary Clinton. But the real stories, the real story here may be in the industrial Midwest, the states. I really felt the presence of her parents in the room that day, and um, I wanted to make sure they were mentioned. But standing there all that time, and it took forever, and all of a sudden they said, okay, we're next. is the same Georgia, 16 electoral votes. They are going to go to, to Donald Trump as well. Bill Clinton won it in 1992. Republicans have won it ever since. Donald Trump continues that tradition. The map continues to get smaller and smaller. Election is almost done. Um, what, 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 
vision message for uh, his kind of dream right uh, Number one is that I'm very proud of the unprecedented number of people who came out to vote in the Hispanic community. It's important for people to keep up their democratic participation and their activism now more than ever. My hope is that if Donald Trump is elected, that he will be a president who governs based on serving everybody and not just some people, and that he will seek to build bridges instead of walls and seek to reach out to communities that did not support him because he has to be president for everybody. by labeling people. He labeled Jeb Bush low energy. You know, he had a, an important message, but this is how he killed his opponents. Lying Ted, Lil Marco, and of course, Crooked Hillary. And as I think about labels right now, I'm also thinking about a title we haven't said yet. And the night's not over. But think about this, President Trump. You're awake, by the way. You're not having a terrible, terrible dream. Also, you're not dead and you haven't gone to hell. This is your life now. This is our election now. This is us. This is our country. It's real.